Hey everyone, it's Quay. Welcome back to Spotlight. Since it's getting cold outside, we have a new episode that'll warm you right up. Let's get started. Who doesn't love a tasty bagel in the morning? This week, Joe Melissi takes us to a popular food spot to spin your dough on this edition of Taste of the Week. Within the borough of Kutztown lies a bagel store that's anything but average. The Bagel Bar Cafe is located on Main Street and has been serving out bagels since 1994. In addition to sandwiches and other items, the Bagel Bar is most known for their bagels. Some flavors are completely unique, while others are the favorites that you love. There's also an option for gluten-free bagels. While you eat, you can enjoy the many decorative pieces around the store, including a large clock and a painted map of the world. While you're at it, grab a coffee at their full coffee bar and many different flavors. With so many options to choose from, it'll be hard to decide what you get for your first time and your second, and your third. If a relaxing place to grab a bite to eat is your thing, then the Bagel Bar Cafe on Main Street is the place for you. Joe always shows us a tasty treat. After the break, Kayla tells us what's going on with Spotlight on the Street. After every Golden Bears home game, you can save big on the following Monday. For every touchdown the Golden Bears score, shoppers can save 5% on KU Apparel. That's up to 40% in savings. No matter if it's win or lose, you can expect to save at least 15% on KU Apparel. Make sure to take advantage of the Paw Pucks discount by visiting the KU Campus Store, Dixon Marketplace, or online at KUBStore.com. Stay up to date after each game, follow the KU Campus Store on Facebook or Twitter. love dressing up for Halloween. I wonder if everyone else feels the same. Well, Kayla's going to find out. Hi everyone and welcome back to Spotlight on the Street. So, let me just tell you that my most memorable childhood costume was being an m, &M as a kid. So, I'm curious to see what everyone else was. What was the most memorable Halloween costume you've had as a kid? I was a werewolf in sixth grade because I loved Twilight and I paid $45 at Party City for it and I still have it to this day because I paid $45 for it. And it's really short on me now, but I still love it. Um, when I was probably six or seven, I had a cat costume and it zipped up in the back and it really freaked me out okay. and the zipper got stuck. So my parents had to cut me out of it on Halloween and then they had to go buy me like a new cheerleading costume like the last minute. It was really funny and I was really scared in that cat costume because it was like so tight and like claustrophobic. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Uh, well, when I lived in London, uh, my mom made me wear a Buzz Lightyear costume for, it was probably one of my first actual Halloweens and uh, she made me go up to each of the house and I would literally have to say the like, to infinity and beyond as I ran off with my candy. So uh, it's probably like my most like memorable Halloween costume. Uh, back when I was eight, me and my parents, we made like this Bowser costume from Mario Brothers and made entirely by paper mache. And it was so detailed, it just looked so, like it looked amazing, but I still have the head to this day in my room. Any plans on what you're gonna be this year? Um, I think my friends are gonna, me and my roommate are gonna be the like angel and devil. So the typical oh, things. The yeah. cute little like so, best friend thing. Yeah. So. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually going to be Sailor Moon this year. And Tina and Louise and Bob from Bob's Burgers. So I'm going as a group. OK. Did you make the costume or did you buy it? I bought it on sale for $9.99 at the mall. So that's why I decided to be Sailor Moon. And then I made the Louise costume. Um, I was going to dress up this year, but I'm too broke. so. 
I would like to dress up, but I'm just not sure what. Maybe just wear a white sheet and be a ghost? Yeah, probably. <laughs> just That's how it's going to happen. I kind of want to, because uh, it's my last year here. I kind of wanted to just like go out with a bang and have like a good time with it, but uh, I have done very poor planning for my costume so far. You'd be a good Mike Myers, because the new movie's coming out, the new Halloween. Yes, I should. I should. I get like my little mask, my little fake machete. Yeah, because he's pretty tall. I, all right, I'll have to think about it. Well, everyone, that's all we have for you today on Spotlight on the Street. I'm going to go binge eat Skittles and start making my costume. Thanks for tuning in and have a good one. Well, that's all we have for you today here on Spotlight. I'm Quay. Be sure to tune in next time. Good night.